What's going on guys? Things are getting spicy. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Spartacus. Today we're going to be checking out Season 2, Episode 8. We got two more episodes after this one, man, to wrap up the season. Then we go into Season 3, okay? So, we already know what's going on, man. So let's do a quick recap. Let's do this. In any case of what's going on right now, um, at least we have unity among the brothers, right? Spartacus, Crixus, Argon, Animaeus. Um, I think Animaeus is going to start training um, these rough and tough guys to really be gladiators, you know. Um, finally, his eyes have opened to have new purpose, and I'm here for that. Right, so we got Glaber on the other side, which is trying to capture Spartacus with his thug, as turns <laughs> have turned to his thuggish ways, um, along with Asher and these thugs that he that Asher went to go pick up, um, to take care of Spartacus and his crew. Now, um, the biggest story, of course, from the last episode was Gannicus seemingly has kidnapped or captured um Elithia, right so are they going to i think glaber will blame lucretia for this because it was lucretia's um idea per se you know what i'm saying she said it's from the gods but you know um she's the one that set it all up but she didn't know gannicus was gonna attack um, the cart, she set it up so that um, Elithia is going to be away, so Glaber will be there by himself. But of course, you know, Sepia, she found it, she found herself into Glaber's bed because that was set up the whole episode. You know what I'm saying? And as I explained before, I don't really particularly like those kind of setups because they're too obvious in TV shows. A lot of times they're, they're so obvious is like you're never like oh my god is she going to sleep with him like it's too obvious that it was going to happen the whisper in the ear all of that stuff so so yeah she lucretia set it up so that she um so that gannicus could come to the house and kill glaber you know what i'm saying but her counter plan was once he kills glaber she's gonna you know, holler and scream and let them take care of Gannicus. But Gannicus seems like he figured it out. Uh, oh, you trying to set me up? No, I'm gonna attack the the um the wagon that you told me about. Elithia is gonna be on because that's that could be an asset to Spartacus and them. And he left his Rudus too at the scene with Asher's man. So that's where we are in the series right now, and I am loving every minute of it. So. Let's jump into this reaction, and I will see you guys for the review. Okay, so there's a lot to... A lot happened in those two episodes, of course. Two episodes before the final episode. Um, you To the way our episode 9 ended, you would think that that would be the last episode of the season um pretty sure that spartacus lost a lot of people um they held their own though they held their own Verinius is dead um Elithia and glaber has come to the conclusion that if we're both monsters why not just be monsters together you know what i'm saying so their cruelty has brought them together um you know their anger towards the same people i didn't see it going this way of course you've heard my predictions about elithia what she should do but that didn't end up happening <laughs> at all so um but that's just how it is sometimes you know what i'm saying like but it's i still like the direction that they took it caught me off guard so yeah i'm saying they set up sepia in a way they set her, they set her up in such a way elithia and lucretia they set her up in such a way where you would never see this coming because you thought you really did 
think that Lucretia and Elithia wants her to really kill Glaber, but that's not what she wanted. She wanted to gain his gain his favor again by killing Sepia right before. You know what I'm saying? She was just waiting for her to to pull that. Um, knife or whatever and they made sure they didn't do a wide angle also um, for when um, Elithia came in and I'm glad they didn't I'm glad that we just saw when she got stabbed and I was like oh shit it's Elithia in the house <laughs> you know what I'm saying like it was one of those moments that really catches you off guard the writing is brilliant in the show and even I'm gonna have you know what I'm saying? Like predictions or whatever. And I'm going to be wrong. And that's what I'm saying. That's what I was explaining from the last reaction. That sometimes there's certain things that you can see coming. You get what I'm saying? Just based on what you're seeing progressively. But some things you're just not going to see coming. You can make predictions. But you're just not going to see it coming. You know what I'm saying? And they really surprise me. And I love it. I love surprises in TV shows. Because you expect it to go a certain way sometimes. And they just completely blow your mind and be like, oh, that's better. They did it better than I thought it they were going to do. You know what I'm saying? So I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that, man. Um, so, yeah, man, they attacked. We lost um, Lucius. Is Lucius. I like to say Lucius, but it's actually they call they say Lucius. So I say Lucius. So, yeah, man, pretty cool stuff. Um, I like what Lucius went over there and, and, and said to Glaber. That was a pretty cool scene. Um, it was like, you can give me back my land, but can you give me back my wife, my kids, my brothers, my sisters? Can you give me back all of that? <laughs> and he called him a cunt. <laughs> that was pretty cool. So yeah, man. So, um, I'm just here just trying to take in the brilliance of the writing of the show and also the action. They're also doing a very good job. You can see that they've stepped up the aesthetics for um, the visuals or the aesthetics, visual effects, whatever you want to call it, for these two episodes. The reason be the reason why I said that is because the special effects team obviously stepped it up. It looked real. It was still obviously CGI, but you get what I'm saying, like knowledge based CGI right but it looked real everything looked real the blood that's what that's one of the things or if you want to call it criticism that i have about this show right like sometimes the the special effects the um the blood effects if you want to call it that is very it looks real and at some points it just doesn't it's like it's two different studios doing the special effects for different episodes it's weird um but they still do they still do a good job you get what i'm saying like um bar barring all of that and forgetting all of all of that issue those issues it can pull you out of the reality of the show sometimes because if you have a critical eye if you're just there for the for the enjoyment but i also have to be critical when it comes on to that, I can't just be like, okay, I'm just enjoying the show. I'm not one of those channels. You guys should know that by now. So when I see stuff like that, that's like out because these are, this is stuff that I've dabbled in over the years that, you know, I've been, that I've done stuff. I've, I've, um, I've dabbled in graphic designing, special effects, um, you know, just, video stuff video audio engineering i've done all of that stuff throughout throughout my years most of it is self-taught because i've read so much about this stuff you get what i'm saying i've done it for people um both locally internationally i haven't done it for anything huge like a spartacus or a movie or anything like that but i do have the experience to say that i've done this for companies i've done this you know creating special effects for commercials or whatever the situation is like i've done that stuff so i have a critical eye for this stuff like i see it and i'm like that's not good for visual effects and some of the times there's a channel on youtube there is a channel on YouTube that does this where they react 
to like older movies and stuff that did special effects and sometimes if you don't slow things down frame by frame you're not going to notice the blemishes of it um like in jurassic park right like in Jur the original jurassic park there's a time in the movie there's a frame in the movie where the tyrannosaurus the t-rex right um completely disappears <laughs> but it's so on it's unnoticeable because you're not necessarily watching it slowing it down frame by frame but there's a frame where the t-rex just completely disappears from off screen but you don't notice it because playing it in real time it's not noticeable right so don't get me wrong these two episodes the special effects were on point they they use slow motion in the right places um Sometimes I do believe that a slow motion is overused in some episodes, but for this, I would have to say for this, for um, for these two episodes, the slow motions were used. They didn't it was it didn't feel overused to me, um, and the special effects were cool. Um, story is on fire. I don't even have to tell you guys that. You guys know how I'm loving the story. Like the story just keeps surprising me over and over again. Still want Asher to die. He's just. For me, it's just for me, it's just the situation that's going on between him and Lucretia. Like, I feel sorry for her, even though she's not like my favorite character in the show. Like, I love to hate her. You get what I'm saying? Like, I love to hate her because she's the, just as despicable as anybody else that's despicable in the show. She is a monster in her own right. But to see her, no matter how bad a person is, I just don't like seeing them fake being taken advantage of so i can't root for that I, because i hate asher too so for him to be taken i don't like to watch women get raped on screen like I, it's something that i really cringe at like i don't like seeing it you get what i'm saying so it's like you know you have some people who don't mind you know some people are you know they disassociate themselves or they, they desensitize themselves to these things because they, they, you know, because they see too much. There's not enough of that that can cross my eyes for me to be like, okay, that's happening. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it just, it's not the same for me. So, um, so yeah, man, I'm seeking out to try to finish this episode by either, I'm either going to do it t tomorrow or later today. I don't know yet, but if you see episode 10 out, just watch it. Just know that we're here. But, um, so yeah, the situation that's happening with Glaber, you know what I'm saying? He's becoming more and more like one of my favorite characters in the show. I love to hate him too. You get what I'm saying? Because he's presenting as a formidable foe for Spartacus uh, and his men, you know, Crixus and all of them. Um, it was good to see um, Spartacus and Argon coming together and finally kind of like breaking that, you know, breaking bread together or, you know, having a, a cup of wine together. That was pretty cool for them to squash their beef because it was a senseless beef in my in my opinion. Animaeus and Gannicus had a had a more their beef made sense you get what i'm saying i can understand why animus is very reluctant to forgiving him and releasing him off this burden that he carries because he was wrong for what he did i don't agree with what he did um even though it was requited it was mutual it was still not cool you should have told animus what happened you should have also told him um you should have also told him the fact listen man I'm having feelings for your wife. It's not cool, but it's just how I feel. You get what I'm saying? Um, of course, Animus would have been mad, but he would have understood. You get what I'm saying? I think he would have understood. You know, maybe he would have decided not to be friends with him again. But at the same time, I think he would have understood what Gannicus is going through. And he would have thanked him for telling him. Because at least if Melita falls into his hands, he can say, well, it's not his fault. Now it's all you. Because right now he doesn't know that Melita felt the same way towards him. You get what I'm saying? Like he, that has not really been revealed to him. He may suspect it or maybe he does. Uh, who knows? Maybe he does kind of knows that, but he still blames Gannicus. Who knows? But 
that's just my opinion on that part of the story. Um, Navy has got her groove back. That's good. Um, what else to talk about? What else to talk about? Everything that's going on is pretty cool. I was wrong about Elithia. I thought she would have took a different path, but she took a path that I didn't think of, and that's where Raiden comes in clutch, man. Love the Raiden in the show, um, obviously. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, as always. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. The war is here. Now they're stuck in the mountains, probably without food and stuff, and that's what Labyrinth is going to wait them out, maybe try to starve them out. Um, I'll wait until they come down looking for food and then they'll they'll kill him. Who knows? But we're going to see how the last episodes end the series soon as possible. So make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section and also subscribe if you're new. We out here, man. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.